Okay guys, today I'm going to be profiling Firefist for you as a debut for our YouTube channel coming up. We're basically a Yu-Gi-Oh club from Watford and we just like to have fun and just have a have a good time. So I'm just going to go through this with you real quick. So on the main deck we're playing Free Elephant. Um, this guy is just your sort of play style. He's brand new, he's a fairly expensive card but he gets into all of your good stuff. Um, summons one out of the hand if you have a formation on field and then you can just combo off from there and go into your link plays, which is really cool. Um, you definitely need to play him as a three of. Uh, then we've got three Raven. Um, this is a monster that has less than a thousand attacks, so you can link it off into Al Mirage, search your um, formations, um, and also just search, search anything else, any other fire formation you want. When it's sent to the graveyard meaning it has a lot of synergy with like link monsters which is really good um then three panda this guy is one of your key cards um you you need to be playing it because you can search him with um elephant because elephant can send a formation from your graveyard back into the deck and search him so you want to be doing that he also summons himself out when you activate a fire formation and one from your graveyard meaning you can just keep going and going and going, providing they don't have an answer for you. This guy is something you really need and prevents them from being destroyed by card effects as well. So that's really cool. Uh, then on to the two odds, uh, I've got two Rooster. Um, Rooster is one of the cards you want to send to the grave uh, from by Eagle because it's free um, to search for a fire formation when Eagle's out because Eagle just, um, nullifies all the costs so you can if you summon multiple copies of copies of this you can see you can keep searching formations not to mention if you bring it up out of the graveyard with panda you can search a fire fist monster from your deck which is awesome uh, then we're playing two leopard um this guy i'm not really sure of but he's cool because um you can tribute any other fire fist to set a fire formation from the deck and the good thing about these guys is um the good thing about fire fist is you can't ash them when they're getting fire fist because fire formations because they set from the deck they're not adding to hand or sending to graveyard unless it's eagle so eagle is probably the link the one monster that you play that is the most susceptible to hand traps and things like that which you know you you're damned if you do it you're damned if you don't you get hit by that you lose or you have a you have, you're gonna have a bad time uh, now for one offs uh, one bear this is just for spot removal um however you look like look at it uh it's an old school card it's not great but i choose it anyway one spinny i mean uh one buffalo sorry um this guy basically like salaman great spinny um as long as eagles on the field but you can also send your fire formations from the field to the graveyard to um summon him um and you might want to send things like the new fusion or ritual ones um if you want to do that uh, i want to play three of this but one dragon the only reason I'm not playing Dragon at three at the moment is because it's just a really hard to find card. Um, and it's it's also not the cheapest thing in the world as, as uh, anyone who's trying to make this deck can imagine. It's It's been a very long and arduous task for me to build it myself. Uh, we're playing one Spirit. Um, this brings out Rooster from the Grave. Uh, it's, it's, it's good, it's a tune, it helps you get out um, horse prints, but you've got to be ha careful with horse prints because it, after you do horse prints, you can't go into Panda or Elands, which is not great uh, at the best of times, but it's still a nice card to have. Um, I'm testing the one copy of Ram. Um, it's been useful, but it hasn't been like amazing, because it's basically just like a leopard that kind of just stays on the field, um, but you know, it's fine. Uh, then we're playing one copy of the Ritual Elland. This guy is really good. Um, you need to play one of this if you are scared of Nibiru coming down and wiping your whole board and ending your game then and there, you know, because he's, he's, he negates monster effects, searches um, fire formations and, and just helps save your life, basically. Then for hand traps, we're just playing three ash because um, that's what we had at the time. Um, you can swap these around and you side deck these out for other things like your new promos, Veilers, stuff like that, you know. Uh, spells, three Tenki, searches your Beast Warriors, nothing else really I can say about it. Um, hard ones per turn, level four or 
lowers and obviously the 100 attack boost, which is spicy. Uh, Rutensu, extra normal summon, and you can keep activating this one. So this is the one you want to add back to your hand with Eagle most of the time. Two Dome and one Ingen. Um, Dome is the ritual summoning continuous spell, Ingen the fusion. So when this one's sent to the uh, from the field to the graveyard, you can bring back a Fire Fist from your grave, which is why I was talking about the fact that sometimes you want to send your formations as opposed to not have to pay the costs, because this can really help get your plays back. And Ingen um, brings a Fire Fist back from the grave, which is nice. Then for the one of uh, Fire Formations, one Yoko for just random removal. On Fire Fortress, this can be hilarious uh, if you plan on making your extra deck cool with uh, things like Moonlight Leo Dancer or any other Beast Warrior that you might want to cheese out with 10 counters. Um, two Twisters just for back row, three called, and two of the Counter Trap, Sinto, uh, which negates a spell or trap, but you have to control both of um, a Fire Fist monster and a Fire Formation. Then onto the extra deck, we're playing two Eagle. Uh, Eagle's a fantastic card. You need to play it. It stops you from having to pay cost um, by sending formations. It dumps any Fire Fist from your deck to the graveyard by returning a Fire Formation from your graveyard or field back to your hand, but it has to be face up if it's on the field. So <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. Um, one Peacock, it's basically like a mini Borolo Dragon. You don't really go into it much, but sometimes you have to link off your monsters in order to go to it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a nice card to have. Uh, two XYZs. Two uh, Tiger King. This guy is still a fantastic card. So it sets a fire formation directly from deck. Um, skill drains all your opponent's monsters permanently that face up on the field, as long as they're not beast warriors. Um, yeah, this guy's going to give you a good time. And he also floats, if Eagle's on the field, into two fire fists from the deck with the same attack. So there's that. But... He misses timing if you use him as link material, I believe, so just bear that bear that in mind. One cardinal. Um, in combination with something like Dark Ruler No More or um, Tiger King, this thing can just turn into Tiramisu and bounce back to Colossuses. There was a funny game I had online when um, I summoned this, a guy had Boral Sword and Dingyasu out, and I just went cardinal, bounced back my formations from Grave and just spam them back to hand, and he automatically conceded, which was Fantastic. Um, okay, so now we've got a fusion monster. We've got Swan. Um, this guy for going second um, pops a monster in battle phase, burns 200 for each fire formation you control on summon. And he's just genuinely a good card to have um, in a pinch. One horse prince, um, like I said before, brings out any level three fire monster from your deck however you are locked out of level five um or higher monsters for the rest of the turn after after doing that so you've got to be really careful almirage for the raven plays borrow sword for otks nightmare package phoenix cerberus unicorn one heater ablaze and one dingirsu and dingirsu is purely there for the side deck which I'll go over quickly. Three Rock, uh, three Pancratops, three Dark Rule or no more, three Mind Control. So you steal their Galatea or Orcus Link monster with Mind Control and then you can slap your own Dingirsu on that monster to give them a hard time. And then finally for Trap Shenanigans, we've got three Red, red Reboot. So that's the deck profile guys, hope you enjoyed everything, we're just trying to get this YouTube channel all sorted out and all nice, um, so that maybe we can get a little following and get more people playing this card game before it probably inevitably dies out. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.